All right, so let me start the screen by recording as well. All right, so welcome back to another Sura Vue.js tutorial. So today we'll talk about components and we will discover components together. And as always, just in case you don't know, it's unlike my uh, ordinary, uh, it's unlike my ordinary ordinary tutorial this this kind of tutorial is more like uh, learn uh, learn with me because I don't know Vue.js as well so I'm just learning for it okay. so I think this is where we left off but let me get the installation first All right, we're gonna use this, paste it to here. And, okay. So now if you take a look at this. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about creating a view instance. So, uh, Every view application start by creating a new view instance with the view function. Okay, so for example, our data, we got data, key A is value one. Okay. Okay, let's take, let's see. Uh, where do we left off? Uh, yeah, we're let's go do this. So, uh, composing with components. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new components. And then we learn that the um, template is just like a placeholder, right? This is like a placeholder of value, I think, or data or message. And then master, we're going to put some function in this. I think I remember correctly. Um, and then if we put it here, and then our app. Okay, I forgot how to be. Okay, let's copy this. Put it here. Here, I just create a div, put app, and in here, let's call this app. And then, what are I supposed to put? Are we supposed to put, Okay, let's just put it here for now. Let's see what will happen. Okay, let's see, you're running, you're running your development mode, make sure to turn on and deploy, okay. So do we see anything actually? I don't think we see anything, do we? This one is confusing. Let's see a little bit more. Okay, let's see. So I'll put this here. Put it here. So you can see that I didn't know anything and I didn't, I'm just like reading the documentary from scratch and try stuff out. And hopefully after this like uh, tutorial, like this like series of tutorial, we can build some views um, web application together. And then let's see, view component. Go 
we've got properties is to do, it's an array, and then to do dot text. Okay, so now I'm going to try to understand what's happening here. Okay, so we got this to-do list shows up. Mm. For item in grocery list, so to-do item. Okay, so create new components here. We got our props, properties, let's see. But this will render the same text for every to-do, which is not so very interesting. We should be able to do pass data from parents go to child component. Let's modify the component definition to make accept a prop. Okay, let's get to do that text. Okay, so clear is a line item. Oh, the text is right here. Okay, so if I change to text.id, what happened? Okay, so there's just the ID for the text. Okay, so what's happening here is a template is somehow working with the data right here. Okay, so. Here, let me do this as well. By the way, I'm using Scrimba, <clears throat> a customizable, uh, customizable like um, like a really nice web interface for web development. Not sponsored by them, but just use it for recording. Um, we'll link this interactive lesson down to description before uh, below as well. Okay, so items dot id. So just bind them together, item in grocery list. I still don't quite understand the component, so, but, okay. Okay, so let's try to create something. How about that? Um, so if we add one text here, Hello world. <clears throat> Obviously, you shouldn't eat hello world, but okay, we've got three. What if I don't provide ID? Okay, so just going to say undefined or just nothing. So to do that text. I wish we can console log to do. I want to see what's inside to do. Rule wish I can. I wish I can like go to website page, inspect the element, see how it's changing. Can I try that? I will try that probably. Okay, so right now I'll put my browser inspector mode. Let's take a look. Let's see. Uh, I try. To, I want to see, like, what is actually. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. Okay. So this basically replaced it. Okay. So let's take a look on bind. So I'm trying to learn as well. So um, bind to do item. Where did it, what happened? I changed this. 
Okay, something six. Try yeah. explicit keys. Okay, let's take a look at this. I'm just trying to modify the components because I think this is like all the most important concept of front end JavaScript framework. Okay, so everything should have a key. Okay, okay. So, all right. All right, we have everyone travel key. To do equals item. Oh, this is a prop. Is this somehow related to a prop? What if I change this? What will happen? Okay. Can I read property on text undefined? Okay. I actually want to see some error because that means I actually modify something. So high equals item. Right. So to do, what if I switch it to high? Can I read text? To do is not defined of the instance to make sure the project reacted. Okay. Okay, so if I change this, so this is like fine with the prop. Okay, so if I change this to hello, and this to hello as well, and then change the index HTML to hello, refresh. Okay, it's the same, and then if I, have if I switch item. Okay, so problem here, wait. So item, item, oh, okay, is item a variable that we use? Yeah, so if I change it to high in grocery list, not probably going to work, or not. Can I read property? Okay, yeah. This also need to be high. And then now we can see it shows back up. Okay, so, I guess this will be it for this video. I know I didn't really do a lot in this video because it's just like me to discovering this. Feel free to comment below and tell me what kind of tutorial you like the best. And um, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I will have I also create a Discord server. If you guys want to join, I will link it down to the description below. And um, Thanks for all of you guys watching this video and stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.